Here with Chris Jericho as he gets set for WrestleMania 28. Chris will be challenging CM Punk for the WWE Championship. I saw The Rock come out here earlier, give you a nice big wet kiss. Is that the first time you've been kissed by The Rock? Uh, no, The Rock has always had a, uh, a sexual attraction towards me, but what can I say? I'm a sexy beast, you know? Uh, you've been in uh, WrestleMania uh, for years now. Um, how, does this one feel any different right now leading up to the match than uh, other prior ones? Yeah, it does. I mean, this is actually, I figured out yesterday, this is my 10th WrestleMania. And there's only been two that I've been in involved with that I felt had the potential to be the show stealer. Uh, one was with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 19, uh, and this is the next one. So, I mean, you can never say for sure what's going to happen, and there's a lot of big matches on this show. But I just think with the storyline, with the chemistry, with the work style that we have, and with the anticipation from the fans that our, our match has the potential to be a, a very special one. So I'm excited about this WrestleMania. Not that I'm not excited about every WrestleMania, but this one has a little bit of a special twist to it. You came back to WWE earlier this year. What was it about this time and going up against CM Punk that attracted you to come back right now? Well, you just answered your own question. This time and going against CM Punk. Uh, I was fine, um, you know, I was doing a lot of touring with Fozzie and we were doing a lot of work. We were getting ready to take a little bit of a break to start working on new records, so I knew that the window of opportunity was there. But to me, I have to find an idea or have a, a mindset of something that I think I can really make a difference with. And when Punk started going on the rise and started calling himself the best in the world, I was like, well, there's your natural storyline right there. So I actually flew to Stanford last August to pitch this whole idea and storyline to Vince. What is it about you and the relationship you have with Vince where I think that you your relationship's a little bit different, where you have maybe a little bit more access or a little bit, he's open to ideas maybe that you give him a little bit more than other people? Well, I think in this day and age, um, there's not a lot of guys that have the experience level that I have. There's maybe, I think I've been working here longer than anybody else uh, besides a few guys, but I've been in the business longer than anybody except for Undertaker. I've been in the business longer than Triple H longer than The Rock. So I, I think my track record speaks for itself with, with my relationship with Vince, all the stuff that I've fought for with him, with the HBK angle in 2008, with the Mysterio angle in 2009. All that stuff was always, not an argument, but you had to stand up and, and you know, pitch it and have Vince buy into it and believe it. So uh, I, I think he knows that when I come to him with an idea, he needs to listen to it because I've never steered him wrong. I think sometimes you have uh, a unique relationship with some of your fans because I think a lot of times they want to see you back, but then they get a little bit freaked out going, oh, how long is he going to hang around for? Or what's he going to be doing? Or I think he's going to be leaving again. What, what's that like from your perspective? Well, it, it pisses me off because people are always wanting me to come back. When I was off this last year and a half, you know, when are you coming back? 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 You coming back? Finally, I come back. When are you going to talk? 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 Then I talk. When are you going to wrestle? When are you going to wrestle? How long are you staying? It's like people need to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. When I go watch a great movie, I don't go, when is it over? When is it going to I just go, man, I hope, I hope it never ends. I, I don't want it to end, but I'm going to enjoy every step of the way. You know, I just read Under the Dome by Stephen King. It's 1,100 pages long. At the 1,100th page, I was like, I don't want this to end. But it's over. It was done, and it was great. And that's what people need to just relax and enjoy the ride. I can't stay in the WWE until I'm 60. What do you want? Like, what do you honestly? What do you want me to do? Like, I, I come, uh, I do the best work I possibly can, give it my all, give more than 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 what other people do as far as creating storylines, playing a character, sacrificing things to make it work. Uh, and that's all I care about, you know. Um, I don't care what people want as far as when am I staying or when am I leaving. I'm here now and just shut up and enjoy it. I know you can't give it all away, but special jacket plan for WrestleMania? Uh, yeah, there is a new one, absolutely, absolutely. How can you get bigger and better than the one that you've been wearing? Uh, you'll see. <laughs> Hey, talk a little bit about the Hall of Fame, because I think it's interesting with the guys that going in this year that kind of uh, been around your career. Mil Mascaris, your time in Mexico, Four Horsemen, you grew up being a big fan of theirs. And then uh, Edge, a guy that uh, you wrestled many times and came from Canada as well. Yeah, I mean, the Hall of Fame every year is always a blast because, you know, you get, you get a chance to see, uh, my favorite part is the packages that they have, you know. You'll see like this amazing five minute package on the history of the Four Horsemen or the history of Edge and realize just how much stuff these guys had done. Uh, it, it, it's 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 really it's a really cool thing that we have it, and every year, no matter who goes in, I enjoy it, I enjoy watching it, and when there's a personal relationship to the guy, it's even more special. So uh, this will be a good uh, a good year for sure. Last thing for me, um, what's been your perspective seeing Rock and Cena, the build up to this match, and going on for a year, which is something we never see anymore? Yeah, I mean it used to be kind of the standard back in you know the 80s. 
but uh, I think it was a great idea. Um, I think in, in a lot of ways it might have been, you know, a, lot, a long time coming, a little bit long at times, but I mean, they had a, a clear vision for the year, and now that we're actually here, it's been a brilliant move, and uh, it's definitely one of the most promoted matches in the history of Mania, and I think it's going to be, um, I, I'm excited to watch it. Thanks for the time. Good luck on Sunday. Thanks, brother.